are welcome. Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. Before I agree to anything, I'd like to know what's going on. You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. This is no time for internal squabbling. We should be united against the Empire. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. This Rift Alliance must understand they're placing billions of lives at risk. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. If these worlds are determined to leave the Republic, one Jedi is not going to change their minds. Jedi have changed the fate of the galaxy. This is not impossible. Not for the right person. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your strength and courage have long shown you merit the rank. I've been waiting for this since I first set foot on Tython. Neil, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through his actions, this Jedi has proved worthy before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. Perhaps now I can finally strive for greatness. Well said, Jedi, and well done. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. You know these people, sir. I would appreciate any suggestions you can offer. Get on Representative Alani's good side. Though between us, I'm not certain she has one. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future. After all. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone right here. I'm Nadia Grell. My father and the other senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eric's. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't! You'll just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Your father's safe now. I won't let anyone else be harmed. No, Jedi. My orders were no survivors, and it'll be a pleasure to obey. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. 
But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Whoever Kairos is, he sent you on your final mission. Hmm. My lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die. It is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Now, just as I programmed. Maybe you haven't heard of us. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. Is there any way to override the Sith's commands or shut off the engines? The crew knew how, but the Sith, they're all gone. That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blazus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just. I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! If we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srek Grula Boska. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. Even if we can't get into orbit, maybe we can give the Fortitude a safer landing. I'll stay here and guide everyone. <laughs> Even I can miss a planet. <laughs> It's all right, Dawn. Everyone, stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now. Fortitude's in a safe orbit over Duralia. Everyone's okay. We're all heading back to your starship. I'll meet you there. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? Every need may be a little strong. I'm here to secure your place in the Republic. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani who can introduce herself. This is D. Abduin. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Yes. I didn't know my rank was common knowledge in the Republic. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh... Punchimo. I-I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello. And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've, uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? I'd love to hear all about your planet and culture when we have time. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. Either we work together, or the Empire will destroy us. You'll see the Republic's true strength, but we expect your full support in return. Fui Panyaga, Tweepy, Taiboka Dunka Wonna Wanga. 
Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. I don't recognize that. Did Theron install it? The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? If someone was plotting against us, I would feel it. Maybe, but I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up, so it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Are you hiding something from the other diplomats? Not, uh, ex not exactly. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, at a station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. I hoped I'd proven myself by helping Balmora. Unfortunately, their we've been neglected attitude is hard to shake off. At a station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. What was the situation before Addis Station went silent? They sent a routine update, then we heard Imperial soldiers were in the area. Nothing more. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But Father, Addis Station was built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. If anything happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. You won't have to protect me. Promise. Just focus on saving the station and our scientists. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently, responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson. Paragreed detonator would open it, if you don't mind a landslide. Sorry, there were Imperial soldiers wandering around. I had to hide for a bit. You should always be mindful of your welfare, but I could use your help. Oh, let me take care of that. We built an Emmanuel release just in case. Now where? It's awfully quiet in there. I hope everyone's alright. I have to get this door closed before the atmosphere contaminates the station. I'll meet you inside. Locks closed. We're safe. These are the people who attacked the station? Who are they? Individuals who draw on the dark side of the Force and have no mercy. We call them Sith. Like the ones on the Fortitude, when you rescued us. There must be somebody still alive. We built at a station to survive anything. Yes, here. Some of the science staff are in another wing, behind a security door. Can you tell if there are any soldiers watching the door? 
let me see. There's no one watching them. Maybe the Sith don't... Wait! Look, there's an entire group of Sith headed that way. If they get in, the scientists... It'll be like the Fortitude again. Just like I said, these Republic scum have bolt holes everywhere. Let's get rid of them before the Sith take credit. No, I won't let it happen again. I won't. Go, get my override code from the console and protect the scientists. I'll handle this. How can you have that kind of power? You're wasting time. You have to stop the Sith from reaching the scientists. Jedi, I can do this. Please, trust me. Like I trust you. Conserve your energy. Keep your mind focused and let the Force flow through you. I'll remember, I promise. Ah, you'll end up on a dissecting table for that girl. You'll have to catch me first. As I suspected, you have a talent for interrupting my work, Jedi. But you're not alone. That girl's here too, yes? Fascinating. What's her name? She's under my protection. Jedi, if I want the girl, all I need do is wait. I am Lord Kairos, and you're supposedly a Jedi Master, though this is a poor beginning. Wouldn't Master Sayo or Yuan have your diplomats in line by now? Not much of a mind game, Sith. A Jedi enslaved the bureaucrats, and they still don't trust you. Senator Grell didn't even bother making excuses for them, did he? I have no idea what you mean. At least those diplomats have taught you something. When to lie. I know you, Jedi. I know everything you've heard, everything you've done. I know you killed my servant, Arax, to save the girl. You fought so hard to save the Fortitude and Balmora. Yet nobody respects you for it. I'll be interested to see where your path leads next, Jedi. Goodbye. Gelenkuk is dead. Nekemer is dead. The enemy is gone. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with me. A soren ben is minding sa jat. Hoje a jat that a domino. Oge ere tuk meditativ es? A friend of mine is still in this station. I should try to find her. Up arajale fon upa uda mastat. Mas miwa, koti lea fo leon. As edje edlin dolog as volhoje. Hoge ne kunk, tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. Hoge ne kunk. Tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. Focus on developing new armaments against the Empire. I'd like to be the first to try them. Aso kenis anap utan korajo. There you are, Jedi. See? I said I'd be fine. I checked the station. It's all clear. I'm heading back to the ship before Father starts fretting. I'll meet you there.
ne ki hoche on nem kep visele. Kava tuta od mishka kaba no tase mawakila. We'd like to formally apologize for keeping Addis Station classified from you. Because of your stubbornness, the chance to save many lives was lost. Don't you think? We can never forget it. P please don't be angry with us. We're very grateful you saved the, the station. And think of the military funding we can get with that weapons program. Though if we're working for peace, better not invest too heavily in war. If you've all quite finished, the Jedi and I have matters to discuss alone. Thank you for protecting my Nadia. She told me you saw her outburst. I imagine you want an explanation. Her talents appear unique. What is she? I was almost hoping you could tell me. The Republic calls them Force Abilities, but to me they're Nadia's gifts. Her powers are stronger than many Jedi, but unpredictable. I hoped she would learn from you, from your experience. Nadia might benefit from some basic Jedi instruction. In time, certainly. But for now, I think she has some growing up to do. Nadia's very fond of you. Please, be there for her as she gets through this. Now, Atta Station's researchers said a Lord Kairos contacted you. Didn't he order the attack on the Fortitude where we all met? The Sith claimed he knew everything we've done here. That monitoring device Nadia found. It seems we do have a traitor on board. If you've seen any of the diplomats acting suspiciously, tell me now. I'm sorry, Jedi, but to me, everyone aboard acts strangely. Perhaps if we act normally, our guest will leave another clue. In the meantime, there may be another way for you to help the Rift Alliance. A group of our soldiers on Hoth has run into a difficult situation. What do you mean by difficult situation? Hoth is infested with pirates who harass our shipping lanes, so we formed a coalition force to handle them. Quick mission, we thought. But those pirates just can't be defeated, and the Republic won't spare any help. How could a group of pirates survive against a powerful coalition force? We're not sure. The reports we have from Hoth are odd. We can explain more when we arrive at Hoth. Until then, watch your back, Jedi. Quite a story, Jedi. If we'd known the pirates had such technology, at least you were there to make the mission a success. Nagula, ji wonta humpa muli ra wata wompa. I rescued your men, stopped the pirates, and handed Valen to you. What more do you want? Yuna liska chananga, wa chi kospa, ini kontika. Excellent. It's settled then. I'm sorry. Could you excuse us for a moment? You mentioned someone on Hoff was sending the Empire information about you. Perhaps Private Cree was just desperate enough to alert the Empire. I think it was someone on board. Since I found that monitoring device, I've been watching our communications. I spotted a message to the Empire in amongst other messages while the channels were busy, but I can't trace who sent it. The monitoring device? The messages? Lord Kairos's inside knowledge? Our traitor can work our communication system. So who uses the comm system the most? Alani. She's always getting news from her world. No, no. Alani sticks to her personal channel. Ty only got a call or two before he left. Duan never speaks to anyone. A Selkath could easily avoid suspicion after what the Empire did to them. Hmm. Maybe before at a station. But now Shuru won't hear a word against you. You know... Blasis gets an awful lot of work from the Aragorn bureaucracy, and a lot of calls. Wait, when you were on Hoth, and someone leaked those messages, Blasis was sending reports everywhere. What if he alerted the Empire then? Blasis couldn't conspire to tie someone's shoelaces together. Most people think I'm completely harmless too. No, it couldn't be Blasis. I just sent him on a mission. I meant to surprise you, Nadia. King Sethan and Queen Niska themselves are donating a regiment to the Republic. What does Blasis have to do with this? The royal family wanted to heal relations between the Rift Alliance and the Republic. They thought donating troops would help. They planned a ceremony on Waypoint Station 3 to present you with the soldiers. But you were needed on Hoth, so I sent Blasis as our envoy. He's with the King and Queen right now. Tell the royals to stay with their soldiers until I arrive. 
there's no answer. Jedi, what have I done? I'll contact Ty. His droids could guard the royal family until we get there. Be sure he knows our suspicions, just in case. Will do, Jedi. Let's go. And here's our guest of honor. Kyrus, if the Jedi takes one step toward their majesties, cut their throats. It will be done, my master. We're no threat to you. Please, at least release my wife. I know you can exploit any advantage, Jedi. So the soldiers had to die. The civilians, too. I do, after all, take pride in being thorough. So much darkness, and I never felt anything from you except fear. Is that curiosity or envy? I'm no mere infiltrator. I am Organ Blasis, and I am a child of the Emperor. I was brought before the Emperor as an infant, and imprinted with his power, his consciousness. I shared the greatest mind in the galaxy. With the first sun concealing my presence, I joined hundreds of my brothers and sisters scattered throughout the Republic to watch and wait. One man couldn't hide hundreds of infiltrators from an entire galaxy of Jedi. A single Jedi healer severed Tarek Morris from his army, as I recall. This is immaterial. An Imperial fleet is coming. You will all be destroyed, and without the Rift Alliance, the Republic is finished. But the Empire is merciful, Your Highness. Your planet could be spared the coming destruction. How? Tell me! Order your bodyguards to kill the Jedi. Even if you agree, he'll betray you, and the Empire will destroy your world. Senator Grell told us about your courage. I will not raise my hand against you. Your Empire's friendship is worthless to us. You'll regret being so stubborn when your planet is burning. Kyrus, show them how a Jedi dies. Why won't you accept that our victory is inevitable? Destroying my servant won't end this. Traitors deserve a slower end anyway. The first son of the Emperor will lead us to glory. Your death is the first step on that path. Not if I have anything to say about it. It has been agony restraining myself from killing you. He's dead? You... How could you... He seemed invincible. Why would he do this? Tobus Grell said Blasis was your ally. I intend to find out before these children of the Emperor do any more damage. Our troops died because of his treachery. They were so proud. They would have served your Republic well. Your soldiers died nobly, trying to protect you. I hope Tobus Grell and little Nadia are all right. We owe them so much. Senator Grell and his daughter have earned their place on my ship. I'll take care of them. We will ask the Republic for help getting home. I will never forget how you came to our rescue. From now on, the Republic will have full access to our treasury. If you are being targeted, there may be further attacks. You are kind to be so concerned, but we will be safe at home. Goodbye, Jedi. Go safely. Blasis was a Sith. He's dead, and the royal family is safe. But their soldiers weren't as lucky. Jedi, quickly. You need to hear this. Good to see you. My commanders and our droids routed an Imperial fleet near your position. But this report is... odd. Our men had a dozen sudden power failures. A major communications fault. I'd call that sabotage. 
I suspect I know who's behind it. But let me know what you find. I sense a Jedi business explanation approaching. Master Seo's trying to get through. Thank the Force you're all right. The Empire has launched a devastating offensive. The galaxy is again at war. Dozens of major systems are being invaded. An Imperial ambush almost broke the Republic fleet and the Jedi. Every hour more are lost. We managed to protect the core worlds, but the rest of the Republic is under fire. The Republic won't survive another peace treaty. We have to stand and fight. I need you. All of you. The Rift Alliance worlds are the only ones still standing strong. We need you to... Wait. I don't see the Aragorn representative. Is Blazus all right? I also have bad news. The Republic has been infiltrated. The children of the Emperor. Now, of all times, you say they've hidden themselves in the Republic. These children of the Emperor are an abomination. Unfortunately, the Council knows little about them. Several years ago, one of the Dark Council turned and joined us. He brought valuable intelligence. He mentioned these children of the Emperor. But even the Dark Council only knew terrible rumors. We must be on guard. In the meantime, the Chancellor has invoked an ancient law giving Jedi Masters military authority. The Republic needs our leadership. The children are the greater threat. If I catch their leader, I can unmask them. I agree, but without a way to detect these children, we must face the Empire. We can't win with the armies we have. The Republic needs powerful allies. And you have already proven you could lead them. You and the Rift Alliance must search the galaxy. Seek out the strongest forces you can find to strike back at the Empire. You won't be alone out there, Jedi. Balmora will always be your ally, no matter what. I'd rather follow someone I respect. Count me in too. We've come a long way together. Now it's time to use our strength. We must begin our search for allies at once. I must admit, this task does seem near impossible. Place has murdered so many of my people alone. To fight all the children and this empire, who could help us? We need more than just soldiers. To truly face the empire, we'll need superior tactics or technology. Someone find Senator Grell. Whatever's keeping him, he has to see this. Jik inter, mebeg dressed pastiat dan ilbi, for cost in pain. Nebue labwe tu? Dabwa la kula gwa la jinna dwendweje? Yes, Hallow Voice is an Eshka. He's also a person. Res es volta a titos metegs? Mafork naho ratiest bi elmu, in tisor mahefne. We'd better send a fleet to Belsavis for them right away. A big fleet. And weapons, armor, supplies. Jedi, this... this is incredible. You got an army? Just the two of you? I had some assistance from an unexpected ally. You better tell us about it. Wait, everyone! There's a message! Something's happened to Father! Master Jedi, Captain Sully, Belsavis Orbital Security. We have a situation in progress. Senator Grell has been abducted. Witnesses report Grell was leaving a meeting when a heavily armed man took him prisoner. Did this man hurt Senator Grell? We don't know, but the kidnapper killed three guards who got between him and his ship. The systems in place to trap escaping vessels, the main tractor beam, our overrides, they've all been sabotaged. We're fixing them now, but without them we can't track the kidnapper's ship. And this is a week-long repair job, at least. I have an exotechnology professor aboard. His help might cut that time down. Perhaps, but I wouldn't rely on a Republic tracking system. Captain, send any readings you gathered in the hangar. Ooh, let me look. Hmm... Oh, Theron, his engine's using a tripartite ionization chamber. What a rascal. 
A few atmospheric readings, Jedi. Ten minutes to write an algorithm, and we'll plot the kidnapper's trail. I knew I brought you along for a reason. Besides, it'll be an excellent study for my next paper. I hope you find the Senator safe and sound. We'll double our security measures, Master Jedi. This won't happen again. All right. When Theron finds the kidnapper's ship, I I'm going with you. Prepare yourself and find a weapon, just in case. I'll call you when we arrive. Right. I should try and keep busy till then. Oh, Father, please be all right. Of course. Who else would come? So my untraceable engine only bought time. That's fair. I'm Stark. I've gained so much from your senator. I'm here to destroy you, and I don't mean to fail. I do exist on a whim, just not yours. Father, get up! We came to save you! He's not there. He didn't take my questions well. I learned a lot about an Eshkar horde in a prison. The first son will want that. I've been hoping to encounter another child of the Emperor. No, I'm... I was allowed this memory. I was once a great Sith. But I looked into the abyss. I followed the children. And the first son found out. The scalpel and bright lights took my name. Now I serve as Stark. Stop it! Stop talking! You hurt my father! You don't deserve to live! We can't risk him reporting back to the first son. Interfering in my duties is rude. If I kill you, I might earn my name back. everything you could. We were just too late. This is a bad dream. Or a test? Some Jedi test? Everything's a test. You! You did this! Something like you shouldn't outlive my father! If you want him dead, I won't stop you. I was curious. Is that so bad? It's over. My duty's done. See, Father? I'll be strong for you. Our family, our world. I promise. Would you help me? We can't leave him in this place. We have convened to offer the condolences of the Jedi Order on the passing of Senator Tobus Grell. Nadia, your father was a great ally. We hope you'll continue his noble efforts to guide your people into the Republic. I will, and everyone back home should respect me as a successor. You still have remarkable respect for your people's customs despite your travels. There is another matter. Senator Grell's will was left in our care. And one portion concerns both of you. In the Institute of Xenozoology, if they can display it. But finally, my most important concern, my dear Nadia. She is so gifted. These children of the Emperor 
are both gifted and trained. Therefore, I ask Nadia be accepted for a Padawan's training, and taught by the Barsenthal of the Jedi Order. We've had time to discuss it, and we consent for Nadia to become your Padawan. An excellent idea. Nadia is strong in the Force and quick to learn. Really? You'll train me? Nadia, a Padawan begins with a vow to honor her master and the Jedi Code. Oh, then I promise to follow the Jedi Code and to respect my master and listen to his lessons. And I swear to teach you the ways of the Force, protect you from evil, and remind myself that training is eternal. This is everything Father wanted. He'd be so happy. This proves what the Blasted Empire is capable of. The Ashka won't be enough. We need more. Something... extraordinary. Dune, every crazy spacer has a story about Voss and those mystics. You want to fight the Empire with legends? Don't dismiss him out of hand. Maybe he's onto something. Rumor says Voss is home to force sensitives called mystics who can heal any injury and see the future counter any plan. It's got to be exaggerated, but if there's any truth to it, these mystics might swing a Republic victory. Hopefully the mystics are willing to discuss an alliance. If you truly believe you must go to Voss, be wary. Those mystics may use the force, but they don't know our ways. Good luck. Senator Grell's death should not be in vain. Sorry, I'm still... Everything's so hard. I keep thinking Father's gonna walk in and say, Cheer up, Nadia. The sun shines on a smile. Like I was a child. I hated it. Now I just want to hear it again. Would it help if you heard that from me? That's very sweet. But no, thank you. I want to stop hurting. I want to be like you. You're so composed. I just imagine anger or sadness becoming a small gray pebble. Anyone can cope with a pebble. Hmm. I'll give it a try. Maybe as your Padawan, I'll understand better. And of course, the Voss were delighted when we bloodied those Gormak savages. Imperial training, you see. How lovely. But my guest has arrived, so you may leave. Of course. I'm sure one Jedi will make all the difference. My apologies. He tests a kitten axe, Patience. Sophia Farish, Republic Ambassador. What brings you to Vos, Master Jedi? Several worlds have united to fight the Empire, and we would like the Vos mystics to help us. You... what? I... I should explain. Sith Lords have taken entire systems to war to gain a single mystic healer. One mystic visionary can change Vos culture with... with a word. And you want them as soldiers? How can one person wield so much influence? No mystic's prediction has ever been wrong. It's the foundation of Vos society. Please understand, mystics are rare. Only a few are born in a generation, and with the Gormak tribes expanding, there's even fewer. It's become too dangerous for potential mystics to go on pilgrimage and finish their training. Sorry, what are the Gormak? Local tribesmen who attack on sight. We offered to guard potential mystics from them, but the Voss refused. To be honest, our troops would be outmatched. The Voss are irrational about interference with the mystics though they might be more accepting of a Jedi. And if they saw you help a potential finish his training... But it's long odds. Only one in a dozen actually becomes a mystic. If the Force is truly with us, failure is impossible. I hope you were right. Now, Athel J is gifted, but hasn't studied much, and Heen Sa is sympathetic toward the Empire. Or there's Gaten Ko, an acquaintance of mine, a potential visionary. If he becomes a mystic, he's entitled to a huge entourage, including healers and Voss commandos. This Gaiden Co.'s gratitude could be valuable. Havron, please book a room at Bastan's tea house and send an invitation to Gaiden Co. Sorry, Madam Ambassador. Gaiden Co. left Vaska with his family group this morning. 
He's gone without a real escort? They'll be killed out there. Jedi, you have to go after them. He will have gone to the closest holy ground, a cave below the mountain. Oh, wait. The ritual. Before you enter, cut branches from these trees here and here. Their scent will make you pure enough to walk the holy ground. I respect the Voss and their traditions, but is this really the time? You're an outsider. If you go there unpurified, you'll offend the Voss and push them closer to the Empire. Be careful. Away from Voss Kar, the Imperials' manners tend to deteriorate. Jedi. My thanks. My family was not enough protection. All happenings are necessary. Still, their deaths trouble me. Your family is not lost. They have returned to their source. Beg pardon? Source? It means your family's alright. They're not suffering anymore. These deaths have a purpose. Pilgrimage would have revealed it. My journey ends. My family gone, holy grounds defiled, an outsider trespasses. If I hadn't trespassed, you'd be dead. Don't dismiss someone who could help you. A Jedi protector exceeds a commando skill. You're an outsider. Can I trust someone, not Voss? I can only be who I am. To trust me is your decision. You may accompany. When I become mystic, you shall witness my visions. If you don't have the gift, what marked you as a potential visionary? Intuition. Enabling victories against Gormak. I go to Novices Hall at the Shrine of Healing. The healers will be honored to teach me. First, a marker on the pilgrimage path. I pay homage to Lishina. Gaden Ko, your family should be laid to rest before we leave. I will send word. Time is short. Pilgrimage will explain this. You leave first. Call on your device if it is safe. I follow. The pilgrimage path awaits. Here. The heart of Lishina's marker. I'm sorry, Gidenko. Perhaps it can be repaired. Outsider misunderstanding. A foundation stone. The entire building is the marker. Ruins were built by Lishina and... family. A symbol. Mystics are supported by all. Something is improper. Ah! Idiot boy! A perfect strike ruined by a centimeter. No matter, that scratch will finish you soon enough. Get away from Gaden Co or you'll answer to me. Predictable arrogance. There were whispers in Voskar of a Jedi stupid enough to escort a young mystic away from the city. But when they hear the brat died in your care, the Voss will see the Republic very differently. Gaden Ko is still alive. He can tell his people all about your little scheme. <laughs> the boy's as good as dead. The toxin on that blade was an exotic Republic compound, as any investigation will show. Even a drop is eventually fatal. The destiny of the Voss is to join the Empire, and it is you who have made this possible. Think about that as you die. You picked on the wrong people!
You fight admirably for a Jedi. But not even the Voss can save your Republic. Your darkness is coming. I hope you're prepared. No! I won't be defeated. I... <clears throat> My wound freezes, burns. Unless you return to Voska and explain what happened, the Empire will have its victory. The shrine. Take me to the Shrine of Healing. You mustn't die. Jedi, can't you do something? The Shrine's healers. Please, be sure it is safe. Then call. We go. Outsider, you are not Gaiden Ko. What happened? A Sith Lord tried to assassinate him to discredit the Republic. Foolishness. Come, Gaiden Ko. To the healers. The shrine is not for you. And I thought being a Jedi Master would get me into all the best shrines. The shrine is not for you. The trials protect the upper levels. They're for mystics. I honor your traditions, but I must get inside. Only those who respect our ways enter the trials. Suva Rock at the Pilgrim's Camp can explain. I will inform Gaiden Co. if you die. I am Orin Va, Ashamu. Gaiden Co. is our patient. You acted quickly, but the poison eats at him. We require another of great mental or physical strength to purge it. If there's anything I can do for Gaiden Co., just ask. We need you. Healing takes life from one to save another. Painful, survivable. You appear worthy. Your friend also seems worthy. Gaiden Co. is fortunate. Will you take the risk, Outsiders? Let me do it. Please. I don't want you to be hurt. I have my Jedi training and the Force to sustain me. Well, all right. But if anything funny happens, I'm putting a stop to it. Gaiden Co. grows weak. Outsider, be prepared. We begin. Pain feeds on pain, Jedi. What precisely are you? I belong to Gaiden Co. I am the part of Gaiden Co. that suffers and must be healed. Pain feeds on pain. You know this from battling the Empire. So how does one cope with the Tyrant? Or the Scalpel? Resisting the Tyrant reveals his weaknesses. Enduring the Scalpel leads to healing. Yes. Endurance leads to insight and strength. Your understanding will make this exchange easier. The treatment is complete. Gaiden Ko's recovery begins. You look so tired. It's my fault. It should have been me. Impressive. Gaiden Ko is stronger for this. Here, to aid your recovery, leave when you wish, outsider. Go well. I am improved. My attacker's weapon. Another Jedi? No. He was a Sith Lord, corrupted by the dark side of the Force. His death was necessary. We're in a war. We can't afford to be nice to our enemies. My journey is not right. My vision should begin to make me wise. My order achieves insight and knowledge through hard work. Visions are hard work. Enough. Pilgrimage. I must contemplate a stone carving at the holy grounds. A potential who contemplates receives a sign. Guidance. I will need protection. I promise you will not be harmed again. The carving was broken. First we gather the pieces. I speak with healers. Go. Rest. Call on your device when all is ready. A sign to guide me. Soon my first vision. The royal family called the ship. They asked for me personally. Can you imagine? They want me to be their new representative. 
They obviously don't think I'm as good as father, but I told them my plans, and I'll earn their respect. Taking this on has clearly been good for you. I've cleared my head, and doing father's work has helped too. I want to use this chance. My people can learn a lot from the Republic, especially from the Jedi. Jedi training would benefit any Force sensitives on your world. No one else back home has my powers. I was always sort of a freak. My opinion may not matter, but I think you're a charming, talented woman. I, um, thank you. And your opinion matters a lot. Hello again, Jedi. I managed to get away from the Embassy for a minute. Gaten Cole, congratulations. I knew you could do it. And now you're leaving? Gaten Cole may lead his people into the galaxy and the Republic. A wonderful idea, but I'm afraid I can't allow it. My friend, Sophia? It's all right, Gaten Co. Your true destiny is just beginning. When the Jedi is dead, I'll explain everything. Understand now. You're one of the Emperor's children, like Blazus. I bear that honor, yes. I intended the pilgrimage to truly test Gaiden Co. Power or death, hopefully yours. The first son will kill me for failing. But it doesn't matter. I've known the perfect enlightenment of serving the Emperor. One cannot become enlightened while surrounded by darkness. Yet I have knowledge you don't. You don't know who the first son is. I'll share a little secret. Neither does he. You see, Jedi, some children never know their true nature. They sleepwalk through life until the <sighs> Emperor wakes them. The first son serves the Emperor, then returns to normal, unaware. A politician? A soldier? Maybe one of your allies. How can the First Son commit such acts and not be aware of it? The mind is malleable. We accept, we explain away. I trusted. I am betrayed. I'm sorry, Gaiden Co. I wanted to see you exalted, at the Emperor's right hand. But you chose the Republic. I can't save you. We heard battle. The door was barred. Gate and Co. Honored one, are you well? I am well, thank you. This woman needs to be taken into custody. We have had no Sith prisoners. Her fate is sealed. What's the penalty for endangering a mystic safety? She leaves Voskar. Jenner say, you can't let her get away with this. She takes the step of harmony, down from the mountain. Leaves Voskar forever. Maybe she'll have time to find peace on the way down. Goodbye, Jedi. Enjoy your victory. You won't have many more. We return when all is done. I was thinking about all the places we've been. Quesh was fun, apart from those Imperials all over our research station. And before that was the fortitude. Oh, the galaxy's just so violent. How do you cope? The Republic has always been a culture of cooperation and innovation. But the war has taken a heavy toll. You sound so sad. I've known you for how long now? I thought I had you worked out. But I think I understand you more now. And I see you differently. It's rare for someone to make the effort to understand me. Now I can see the choices you have to make. How hard things must be for you, too. But at least we have each other. As allies, I mean. Welcome, everyone. 
Supreme Chancellor, may I present our new allies. I greet you, Gatenko, and have a voice. The Empire threatens our core worlds, and your strength will be vital in the days ahead. The core worlds founded the Republic we defend. They are centers of government and commerce. Our society would crumble without them. Now an Imperial fleet is en route to one of these besieged worlds, Corellia, carrying thousands of reinforcements. That fleet must never arrive. How many ships? Dozens? More than 30 troop carriers, but they aren't heavily armed. Our true problem is their escort. The Imperial fleet is protected by a dreadnought, the Javelin. Without it, we could scatter them easily. A functional dreadnought would be a huge asset in defending the core worlds. I need you and your alliance to capture the Javelin. It would be far less risky to simply put the Javelin out of action. We tried and failed. If the Javelin reaches Corellia's orbit under Imperial command, we are finished. Your smaller force should help you to slip through the defenses, board the Javelin, and force the captain's surrender. I must go. I leave this vital task in your capable hands. Good luck. Jedi, you have a rational mind. You know trying to capture a dreadnought with the forces we have is utter insanity. If the opportunity arises, I'm fully prepared to cheat my way to victory. Ah, excellent. To begin, our ships distract the Javelin. You board. A fleet that size needs coordination. Jamming the Javelin's signals would put them in disarray. Might buy us enough time. Taking a dreadnought is a day's work. We should go along. Me, Theron, Kaizen, everyone. We each take a few Voss commandos in our hollow communicator. You head for the bridge. We split up and get the other sections under control. This mission will need all of us to stand any chance of success. Rock your hood, Lex. Santalis. Or Largorsk. Excellent. If you have this in hand, I shall go. Corellia's defenders would benefit from my help. May the Force be with you all. Things are quiet back home for now, so I'm gonna focus on my Padawan studies. Um, I read the text that Council sent me, but I still don't understand what a Padawan does. All Padawans must first learn humility. So, find a mop and bucket and start with the cargo hold. Humility, huh? The Master Satil told me to tell you a Jedi Master needs humility more. So do it yourself and stop teasing your Padawan. Or we could forget it and start my first lesson. A Jedi is always patient. The results of your actions may be years, even decades away. And you must be willing to wait. I try, but it's like lighting a fuse. I'm just putting off the bang till later. Maybe I should study something else. Ask the Council for Master Alakwa's meditation on a Padawan's journey. Another perspective might help you. Thank you. I don't mean to be so slow. Everything is so new. If you need to talk about anything, I'm always here for you, Nadia. I won't forget. Oh, good. I hoped you'd have some time. I've been trying to study, but Dr. Cedric's keeps coming to talk to me. He's offering to give me an astronomy lesson. Apparently, he built his own telescope and everything. He's really very charming. You seem quite taken with our professor. Dr. Sedrax? No! He's not my... He's not like you. I like talking to Dr. Sedrax, but only because he's so curious about everything. It's like talking to my father. It's not a problem, is it, that I'm friends with him? Remember that Holiday's very protective of Theron and his feelings. I know what that's like, when it comes to you, anyway. You're more to me than just my master. You do know that, don't you? You're much more than a Padawan to me. I thought so. Dr. Sedrax doesn't come close. Warning. Coolant regulation system ignited. Catastrophic structure integrity failure has begun. Destruction of the general is imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Repeat. Please evacuate immediately. Jedi, are you there? Something exploded near the tactical stations, but we don't know what's happening. It doesn't matter. Tell everyone to run for the hangar bay. Okay, everybody. Back the way we came. But no, I can't. Go without me. Jedi, I have to stay just for a few minutes. 
The crew was trying to destroy these tactical stations. I think they were hiding something. I'm going to download everything I can. There is a time and a place for gaining knowledge, Nadia. I know, I know. But what if there's battle plans in here? This is... There's too much data. It's going to take too long. Wait, we passed a row of escape pods. I can pilot one out. Or point it at Corellia's surface or something. I'm not going to leave you behind, Nadia. I couldn't. You have to. But we'll be together again soon. I feel it. Please, the hangar won't be safe for long. Go on. I'll see you on Corellia. Poria, I have no afarjet. Zinius Jur Drukal Jasbro. Lihida Naka Miest Hija. Is he utterly oblivious to the loss of our dear Nadia? We're going after her as soon as we can. Estavo lab meg minig uge. Oze disazos homa leban. We think the pod was caught in an automated landing system for Coronet City's shipyards. So it's probably there. Somewhere. To Corellia. To search. And to war. I never thought the Imperials would make it this far. Not to the core worlds, not Corellia. Master Seal's briefings on the Corellian situation are grim. Treachery, Imperials invading, a resistance under fire. I saw it all back home. Not to mention we have Nadia to find. We know the automated landing system put the escape pod in Coronet City's shipyards. It's a start, but we have a war to fight too. There is good news. Master Seal completed work on the Guardian Holds before the invasion began. What are these Guardian Holds? Ah, of course. Master Seal only just passed on this briefing. The Guardian Holds are buildings across Coronet City, Corellia's capital. Factories, bunkers, munition stores, everything you'd need to conquer a city. Master Seals fortified each of those buildings with special defenses and codenamed them Guardian Holds. The Guardian Holds mean we have several impenetrable fortresses from which we can always retake Coronet City, even if it falls to the Empire. Such critical positions would need to be defended at all costs. The Guardian Hold fortifications are pretty impregnable, with elite Republic troops stationed inside each one. Defending the Guardian Holds does make the Republic a little short-handed, though, which is where our armies come in. <laughs> Coronet City shipyards are enormous. I won't find the escape pod without help. Repeat, this is Captain Trizan, calling any defenders near the Coronet shipyards. The Imperials overran Zone 12, calling for emergency assistance. We could search the shipyards while we defend them. Tell Captain Trizan we're on our way. Ties, droids, Eshka, commandos, we land all. Now we find out if there are enough to save the Republic. Captain Dryzen, I believe my ally sent a message. I need your help to find an escape pod. Huh? I thought that was a hoax. Quill, look, we really did get a Jedi Master. This is Quill. She and the other Salonians are helping us fight the Imperials. Your escape pod's somewhere in a hot zone. The shipyard guidance system brought the pod in. Isn't there some record? No, the guidance controls were damaged. The pod could be anywhere and recon's impossible. There are Imperial droids on patrol. When we leave, they follow us back to our bases and go on a killing spree. We're stuck. Your pod's important, but I can't send anyone after it. Not if those droids will track them. They can't track anything with a lightsaber in their circuitry. This won't take long. Okay, you clear the droids, we'll find that pod. We should have something by the time you get back. Nicely done. The droid patrol routes have enough gaps for us to sneak by, but they're tight enough the Empire may not realize there are holes. Get guys, 
Your distress call mentioned that zone had been overrun. Zone 12's a private shipyard that happens to be a great defensive position. You're in for a fight. Good luck helping your friend. Uh, I know your mission's urgent, but could you do us a favor? What would you ask of me? We managed to convert two comm towers into AA guns. All good, till the Empire captured them. But there's an override to hardwire them for Imperial targets. Just enter this at both towers, and we get our guns back. My priority is reaching the escape pod, but if I have the opportunity, I'll do what I can. Sure, absolutely. It's just any help would make a huge difference. So That's a very generous offer, Quill. Be ready before you go near Zone 12. We need you in one piece. Everything's all right, Nadia. Breathe easy. I knew I'd see you again. I knew we'd both be all right. Dearest Nadia, we were quite heartbroken without you. It was worth it. I got all the data I could find from the Javelin's computers. Mission reports, plans, details. It's all here. If I'd lost you, none of it would matter. It's okay. We're together again. We can talk later. Before we pass them on, I need Holiday to fix one of these files. It's badly corrupted, but some of the audio still works. Honey, we're right out in the open, and I'd need a hollow transmitter. Is there somewhere safe we can fix this? I, I think it has information about the First Sun. A friend of ours with the Corellian Resistance is nearby. <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I don't know how far I can walk. Fortunately, we made some new friends while you were away. Books and gig bombs and garden eggs, Kai. Guy takes one to start on a walk. Nadia is injured. Go as carefully as you can. I get to see the Salonian tunnels? This might even be fun. I'll meet you at this shelter. Ah, oh, you're back. The Salonians brought your friend in a little while ago. Captain Dryzen gave me call to packs and a hot drink. I feel much better. No more escape pods for me. My Kamala get permanente. This file could help us catch one of the masterminds behind the war. Oh, wow. If you need our hollow transmitter to check it, uh, go right ahead. In Axot, I say yes, I Ugh. Someone corrupted this file into a big sticky mess. If there's anything about the first sun in here, it's all mixed up. Ooh, the Jedi Archives. They restore old files all the time, don't they? If I linked in, I could fix this in a snap. Only the Jedi Council can allow such access. Sending a request to the Jedi Council now. Ah, oh, you're all right. Reports of the fighting on Corellia have been dire. Indeed. We have the Guardian holds to oversee, troops to organize, and you want to access the Jedi Archives? Now? This file relates directly to the children of the Emperor and their leader. In that case, you may have full access. Restoration in progress. Done! The file is... is... Oh, Jedi. You need to see this. Right now. Too risky. My superiors here still think the Empire will forget its debts. The children of the Emperor will remind you. When the Republic falls, I will ensure Corellia's government is rewarded for aiding us. But we've never heard of a first son. How can we trust you're as powerful as you say? Because we met one secretary on Coruscant. Do you still doubt I can do anything I wish? I can't believe what I'm seeing. What have we done? Contact Sio quickly. Ah, you've arrived. Your forces are landing, the Guardian Holds are standing strong. The battle may yet go our way. 
Our way? Don't you mean the Emperor's? Isn't that who you really serve, First Son? He is a traitor and a murderer. He deserves nothing but a quick death. Zio, please. Tell me this isn't true. I'm afraid he cannot. I believe it is now Seal's turn to be silent and watch. Fate has set me a challenge. I had hoped for more time, but all things must adapt or die. Death has become your only recourse. We shall see. You kindly entrusted the Guardian Holds to me, and I, in turn, entrusted them to my brothers and sisters. Goodbye, Jaren, Satil, and thank you. We just lost communication to the Guardian Holds. All our troops, their leaders. If he takes the Guardian Holds, he can take Coronet City. That's the entire purpose of the Holds. Corellia is lost! The First Son doesn't know what my troops are capable of. Yes. Nobody has seen your forces fight before. Not even Sio. We must ensure the Guardian Holds are not in enemy hands. But if they have fallen, your forces are our best hope to retake them. We won't let you down, Master Satil. The closest is Guardian Hold 6, a large walker factory. Now you've cleared the Imperial forces, you should be able to reach it. I'll tell our allies to meet us there, Jedi. Guardian Hold 6 must be saved. If Sio, if the first sun has already struck, you are our only hope. I applaud you, Jedi. Your fortitude and courage are remarkable. No one has ever proved themselves to me. You are a traitor, and the children are cowards hiding behind endless lies. You always did have an inexorable will. Learning the shielding technique was only more evidence of your fascinating mind. But then, you chose to save Lord Vivacar, risking your own life. Intriguing. What intrigued you? You proved what you were willing to lose. I underestimated how powerful your trials would make you. But this sudden miscalculation... Not like you at all. You should never have come here without your army's protection. Losing you will shatter the Rift Alliance. The Republic will collapse. Fear, not war, will be the Republic's end. They will know the children remain, shielded by my will, and that their last hope is dead. Killing you will deprive your brothers and sisters of their protection. There will be nowhere left to hide. Cutting to the heart of the problem as usual. Such a mind. You would have been unstoppable as one of us. But it's too late. I cannot let you live.
why, Jedi. I stand unique among all other men in the galaxy. Why must I be destroyed? You've deceived, corrupted, murdered. Death is the least you deserve. I am not. I... I... This is the end. For you and all the children of the Emperor. much turbulence in the force it's I, i'm glad to see you alive jedi we all are after the first sun's shield collapsed we suddenly felt every child of the emperor their darkness screams at us they can never hide again seo's devotion to the republic was legendary now his legacy is one of treachery and evil we owe it to future generations of padawans to tell seo's story truthfully and warn them of such dangers. I think Sia would welcome that. Children of the Emperor are fleeing. Imperials are leaderless. The forces in Capitol Square are en route. The Republic still has a fight, but with the Guardian Holds retaken, we have an unshakable foothold. I trust we are all convinced. The Treaty of Coruscant was a mistake that can never be repeated. I believe the Republic Senate has learned its lesson. Better late than never. You and the Rift Alliance have done more than we ever thought possible. Return to Coruscant when you can. It's been necessary to elect a new Supreme Chancellor, and she will want to recognize all you have done. Just so you know, I may not be available for training for a while, and issues come up back home. It's a real puzzle. We could talk this over. Any excuse for some time together? See, a guild back home is building a new spaceport. They want me to petition the Senate for Republic help. Trouble is, the Guild wants to demolish the Annex of Kespin and build the new spaceport on that site. The Annex is our oldest ruin. To be honest, it's collapsing and sort of dangerous, but it's sacred. Is this Annex some sort of temple? It commemorates Gavail Kespin. He died defending the capital during the Wanderer Siege. Clearing another site would take months. The forests around the capital are just too dangerous. We need that spaceport, but the Annex is so old. What would you do? A Padawan needs to trust her instincts. What are they telling you? That I shouldn't let my feelings interfere? Oh, we need trade. Maybe the Annex has had its time. Thank you. You always make me feel better. Do you have a minute? I just wanted to mention you're looking very handsome today. That sounds even better coming from you. You do so much, but no one ever thanks you. The least you deserve is to be appreciated. And what do you deserve for being my comfort and inspiration? I've thought about that. Losing father helped me see. We have to do what we can for the people we care about. Let's tell everyone we're off training somewhere. We could spend some time alone. Are you doing this because you want to? Or because you think you should? I... I know what I'm doing. I, I'm not some child with a crush. I care about you. Don't you care about me? You're safe with me. I promise. We don't have to rush into anything. I could lose you tomorrow. That's all I think about sometimes. A at least you didn't say no. I can wait. For a little while.
Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I present the Barson Thor of the Jedi Order and defender of the Rift Alliance. In my predecessor's place, I have invoked the protocol of special requital, which ensures the Rift Alliance will be properly rewarded. Several billion credits for rebuilding, privileged access to new hyperspace routes, extra support for your armies, these are only the beginning. Which should also ensure the Rift Alliance worlds never think of seceding again. You're a quick study. The resources of the core worlds are stretched, but we will try to grant any additional requests you have. What would serve you and your warriors best? You wish to begin a colony? Of course, I'm sure there are plenty of worlds that would welcome you. Hey, hey, hey. What about the Vos Commandos and Gate and Co? Commandos will be honored. I hope for learning. New Jedi come to Vos. Mystics can teach. The Mystics could greatly expand our conception of the Force. We must be exceptionally careful who we expose to Vos ideas. One Force. Jedi know dark and light. Mystics know gray. The pivot between. We can show. The Rift Alliance no longer requires day-to-day -day oversight, but they'll need a spokesperson in the Senate. Someone invested with your authority. Why, Supreme Chancellor, it'll be an honor. We are no one now, I am not going to show. Mirkelis vet, ran fura toka. Representative Alani would be perfect for this position. Besides, she's already accepted. I'll be certain the Republic knows the debt it owes. This is a small part of the greater victory you engineered. Yet you've asked nothing for yourself. You have the rare gift of true balance. Accepting both contemplation and action. You would be perfect to fill the empty seat on the Jedi Council. To me, that seat will always belong to Seo Bacan. Jedi, do you honestly think Seo would have wanted anyone else to take his place? But this is only a small reward beside the great service you have done for all of us. I am only one person among millions from across the galaxy who stood up in the face of evil and said no. Though some said it more vociferously than others. We cannot forget those who paid the ultimate price for us. We carry the burden of living up to their sacrifice. I owe it to Father. The battle never truly ends, but our cause is worth any cost. Never forget that. Thank you. Let's go. We belong out there, not in here. May the Force be with you. Always. Can we talk? I didn't mean to pressure you before. I wasn't thinking. I never think. I care about you. I do. But you must think I'm... I don't know. You are a beautiful, sweet, gifted woman. And nothing will convince me otherwise. <sighs> oh, good. I was scared you'd think less of me. I should have known better. I know the galaxy's dangerous. But if you rush, you miss out on everything worth surviving for. Quite right. Some things should never be rushed. <sighs> I won't forget. Just give me time. Do you think the others know? About us? Theron will have guessed, but he knows the value of discretion. Good. I like having you all to myself. I got word from home about the spaceport, remember? They wanted to demolish the Annex ruins and build it there? There was some grumbling, but I think everyone's settled down now. I can't believe they really listened to me. I feel like a diplomat now. But all this training... I still don't feel like a Jedi. You're gifted. But Jedi training is a lifetime's pursuit. It's not about where I'm going. It's where I started. I want to walk the same path you did. Go to Tython, see the Jedi Temple, follow where the ancient Jedi went. I wouldn't be gone long. Long enough to explore, of course. I have all your maps from the ship's computer. I'm ready. 
If you go to Tython with a clear purpose, you'll get much more out of your time there. Sure. What do you want me to do? Go out into the wilds. Use what tools you can find and create something useful. Anything you wish. What does that have to do with Jedi training? We serve the people of the Republic. They need food, medicine, and fuel more than the Force. I see. I didn't mean to sound so selfish. All right. I'll see what I can make. It'll be fun. See you soon. Python's not at all like I imagined. It was even more beautiful. Peaceful, but wild too. I could sense something there. Like the first Jedi who broke with the Order left some of that darkness behind. Tython is strong in the Force, and like the Force, it has both darkness and light. Not everyone can feel it. Actually, Tython's a lot like home. I wonder what I'd sense now if I went back there. It's like Tython's a place where, where my powers and the Jedi teachings meet. Even if I wasn't your Padawan, there's somewhere I'd belong. Thank you for letting me go there. I'll never forget it. How do you think my training's going? Jedi training can only be judged over years. But you've made a very promising start. I thought so. I feel different. More myself. I've got a level of control I've never had before. It's great. I want to keep going. Listen to this. Unbroken feet I walk. Crushed and alone. The lies they told me have turned the world gray. But oh, that you still breathe and live is a song in this void that gives me life again. I didn't know you wrote poetry. No, it's not mine. It's from Callus and Fianna, one of our romances. I've always loved it, but you've helped me understand it. There's been so much death, but there's life here too. You've shown me what you fight for, what you live for. I love you. Few Jedi are so honest, especially after hearing the Council's warnings. I won't live in fear of something that might happen someday. I love you. That's here and now. I told you I needed time, but now I'm ready to be with you. I didn't want you to be anything but certain. Oh, just kiss me. I want you to know something. Whatever happens, you're not alone. I'll always be here for you. There's no need to promise anything to me. But saying something makes it real. You have my word, as well as my heart. I've been thinking about home. The training's helped me be honest with myself. I'm not going back. I'll be their representative. But too much has happened for me to just settle there again. And I'm happy about that. Wherever you are, that's home to me. Whatever happens, I want to be with you always. There's nothing I'd like more. So it's settled. Come on, time's wasting and there's so much to do. While you were fighting out there, I could feel it. Your energy, your heartbeat, your injuries. It's not unusual between a master and a Padawan. And we're closer than most. I read about that. I never thought I'd feel it. I've never been so close to anyone in my life. This feeling. There aren't words for it. There are. But they're usually saved for wedding ceremonies. W wait what are you saying? I'm saying that I love you, Nadia. Will you be my wife? Yes! Yes, I, I will! Oh, I love you! Listen, listen. For us, for my people, marriage isn't... It's not just a ritual. It's something that changes and grows. First, we make a promise. All seasons, all worlds, under stars and earth, you and I... All seasons, all worlds. 
under stars and earth, you and I, Nadia. I never thought anyone would say those words to me. I love you. I know this is just the beginning for us.